It's repugnant how the University of Saskatchewan frog-marched a dean at its med school off campus and fired him because he dared to criticize the way they wanted to run things. They backed off, at least on the firing, and acknowledged that free speech has a place in universities. Thanks a lot. But there's more to academic freedom than the right of individual profs to say what they think. There's also the freedom of universities themselves as institutions. It has a long history. Universities were once seen as protected sanctuaries from control by the king, the church, the state. It was considered important to have places where ideas could be pursued without intimidation by powerful players. That sounds quaint, but it could be more than that. Uh, global corporations today would like to subordinate all knowledge to their needs, and uh, universities desperate for funding tend to fall in line. They try to do the research and provide the workforce businesses need and treat their students as customers uh, rather than students. That's the mentality the university bosses in Saskatchewan showed. The time for academic freedom in that old sense, uh, sanctuaries of independent thought, may have come again. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.